James Starling here for the DJM YouTube channel after another match day experience. Make sure you check out the highlights down in the description below before we spoil the result for you. Um, where do we even begin with that game? It had everything. Goals, red cards. From your perspective, you've, that's disappointing to go out at this round, isn't it really? Yeah, it's, it's really disappointing um, considering we got to the final last year. Yeah. Um, we aim to do that as a minimum again this season, wanted to go yeah. one better. Um, yeah. Fielded as strong on paper a side as we probably ever fielded as a club. Wow, okay. um, so came into it confident, even though we knew they were a good side. But you don't play football on paper and unfortunately we gave ourselves a mountain to climb with our first half performance, yeah. which I don't think was good enough. Um, the desire lacked a little bit, which mm. is ultimately my responsibility. I'm the one that's supposed to motivate the players to to want to play, want to win, so I take responsibility for that because clearly I didn't do my job before the game. Yeah. Um, they reacted at half time and came out second half yeah. and then as it looked like we were in the ascendancy we got derailed by a stupid red card. I didn't see it but yeah. I've been told about it and if what I've been told is accurate it's um, it's stupid really yeah. and cost yeah. us. Um, yeah. this, the second one <laughs> made the mountain even steeper. Yeah. But we still had some chances towards the end and um, just a bit frustrating that we couldn't get that one back to make the last 10 minutes a bit more interesting. But like I say, I'm the manager, the buck stops with me and if you can't get an 11 like that to play, then um, you have to take responsibility for that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was just going to talk about that because you said that was your strongest team that you've had available. Do you think it's because of the fact that you guys haven't been able to play maybe on a consistent basis that maybe the sort of like the the cohesion wasn't there it just it, it's you know the first 10 minutes were really good enough i thought in the first yeah. half and this again first 10 minutes in the second half but it just seemed a bit disjointed with a couple of the passes going astray would you say that's a fair is a fair reflection or is it just you know you guys you think you should be doing better than that well i'm glad you said it because if i say it without being prompted it makes me look like i'm a little bit bitter about this rule change again which continues to get publicity and people saying oh, it's in the interest of fair play. For me, fair play is that you don't put a restriction on people being able to play football unless they're under a full-time contract yeah. and I think it, it shows that people aren't really interested in fair play if they want to put those restrictions on a team like us because they think that it's fairer to play against nine men than it is to play against an 11. Mm. Um, it does definitely affect us in this competition and if the league yeah. want us to continue to do well in this and represent the county um, they need to look at it because it does affect cohesion it does affect yeah. the way that the team bonds and plays together yeah. a few of the lads have said it afterwards um, I didn't really want to come out and say it publicly but now you have I'll agree with you yeah. definitely yeah. well I mean I was talking to one of the St Joseph's players um, after the game and I asked him whether or not they have the same situation and he said well no we we were able to play on a regular basis and I think that probably was the main difference between the two teams overall really. And on that almost every other league that has a representative in the National Cup mm. doesn't have that restriction yeah. but we want to put it in there yeah. and we want to put it to a majority vote not even unanimous at an AGM that I can even attend so mm. there you go but to be fair regardless of that yeah. for, for me that 11 should be beating even St. Joseph's, who are a good side. And they are a good side. I've got to give yeah, them credit. Yeah. They're a good team. Yeah. But I know that we're better and we just didn't show it enough today. Like, like you said, first 10 minutes of the first half, fine. But then we were the wrong side of them. They were getting three men on the edge of our box, arriving late. Didn't, apart from twice, get the shot on target, which was, yeah. you know, a wake-up call or should be a warning sign to us. And we didn't take the warning. Yeah. They got one back. And if it wasn't for one very good save from Duncan yeah. and a couple of really good last ditch tackles from a couple of us at the back, then they probably would have had a greater than a one nil advantage. Yeah. That gave us something to go for in the second yeah. half. And like I say, I think we came out, played really well, dominate the first 10, 15 minutes of the second half. Yeah. Looked like we were going to get that equaliser. Mm. And then the red card comes and yeah. ma makes it an uphill task, definitely. But you talk about that first half and you, in fact you were only one nil down at half time. As much as it was a disappointing half, you must have been thinking, well, do you know what, we're still in this game. If we can just get ourselves into a bit of a rhythm, then, you know, it, it, the game could have easily changed. And that the red card did halt that, really, didn't it? But yeah. what, what did you say at half time to kind of get those guys going again? That they need to. That, that group of players are a special group of players. Yeah. And it's the first time in this competition, in most competitions really, but especially in this competition, that I've come in at half-time thinking that some of them haven't really put everything on the line. Right, okay. and, and that's why I got a bit annoyed at half-time, because I can't accept that. Yeah. I can accept passes going astray, or maybe someone's not having a great game. But for me, the, the cohesion, the organisation, and sometimes the 
um, desire yeah, to put yeah. a foot in, to put a head in, to be in the right position and track your man wasn't quite there from everyone. Mm. M most of them it was, but there was, yeah. when you have two or three that aren't doing that, it affects the performance. You can't carry them at this level. Um, so I said if, if the whole team that are playing in fours, fives and sixes turn those into seven, eights and nines, we'll win the game. Mm. And immediately they started to turn those into seven eights and nines it looked like we would go on and win the game and then like you say the red card changed everything so it was always going to be an uphill task then but ironically i'm pleased with the desire after the red card and, and yeah. until the red card in the second half as well yeah. but so. it was just that first half i think and moving forward for the rest of the kind of season now what happens with you guys what you know in terms of moving forward how do you kind of pick everyone up after after being knocked out of a competition that is like your baby so to yeah. speak do you know what i mean yeah it is i mean Look, there, there are people that have supported us in this competition for the last few years and we're very appreciative of it. I mean, I've heard that there was a good crowd here today and those that have come to see us do well and support us, you know, thank you to them and we're, we're sorry that we let you down. Um, I know that there'll be people here that we're now going to have to put up with them being happy that we've gone out of the competition. You're always right. going to get that in a small town when you're the big fish and people are shooting at you. Yeah. And that's fine. We have to live with it, live by the sword, die by the sword. But there are still other trophies to go for and, yeah. and in that dressing room now, we have to fill the team every week, so we might as well fill the team that can go and pick those trophies up. We let ourselves yeah. down today, um, but it was always going to be a very, very difficult one to win, even with a, a good side. You have to play well every every round, yeah. and we know what cup football can deliver. We now have yeah. to win the County Cup, which we were disappointed not to do last year. Yeah. So the pressure is, is massively on us for that one, and hopefully we can rise to that and deliver upon it. We have to retain our league title. We have yeah. to get more commitment from the non-senior players in our side and cope and live with this rule that's been put in place because there's no point necessarily crying over spilt milk. The milk is spilt and we have to get on with it and do our best and um, try and deliver that silverware. Yeah, definitely. That's all we can do. Well, wish you all the best of luck for the Thank rest of the season. Much. Really for appreciate it. for your time. Make sure you, go, uh, make sure you guys rather hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. Make sure we, yeah, all that kind of stuff. I'm freezing so I'm <laughs> rambling on. But until we see each other next time, adios.